Ah, I don't care what anybody says. You will forever be my champion of Christmas, Goku. Isn't Christmas a wonderful time of the year? You know, that same time of the year where you spend hundreds of dollars on people you only see maybe three or four times a year. Yeah, that is, it's just so great and lovely, I could just kill it! But enough of that. We're here to talk about the one thing everyone loves about Christmas. It's not friends and family or even Christmas cookies. Who cares about that stupid stuff? Come on. We're all here. We all wait for Christmas every year because of one thing. Presents. And if there's one thing I like doing, it's giving presents. So this year, I decided to give you all a present. From me to you? Every month, at least once, starting now, I will be releasing a new toy review. It's not just for you, it's for me. Because it's a goal. I want to see if I can achieve it. And how long I can go with it. Hopefully a long time. But you never know, right? But anyway, if you've been wondering what kind of gift to get somebody, and I know I'm probably releasing this on Christmas, so it's too late, but for next year, if there's ever a gift you want to get somebody, maybe this review will help. It'll either be a gift you want to get, or one you'll wholeheartedly regret wasting your money on. This is my Christmas review. Ta-da! Let it roll! Hey guys, this is Gojir2012 here again with another figure review. And this time, it's a review on a set. And this set is the Toho Kaiju Series 2 Special Godzilla and Megaguirus set. Now you may be wondering, how is this a Christmas themed item? Well, you see, um, look, look, Godzilla's green, uh, you know, kind of is Christmas themed. He's green like a Christmas tree or mistletoe or something, you know, because you want to kiss him. Uh, red eyes and tongue, oh, red eyes, too. yeah, you know, like, like my, like my sweater, you know, St. Nick's clothing or jingle bells or, okay, you know what, it's not really Christmas themed, but hey. If I had a toy that was either red or green or white or anything like that, I would most likely review it. But unfortunately, I don't have a figure like that. So, for the time being, I figured since I'll probably never get to this set, I figured why not just do it now. So, let's take a look at it. Here we have the Bandai Megaguirus. And as you can see, for a vinyl figure, it looks really good. The detail is pretty spot on, looks very accurate to how he looks in the movie, or she, I don't fucking know, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, my memory's not the greatest. The face looks very menacing, you know, just like in the film. Like, like, <laughs> like that one scene where, uh, Megaguirus gives that little shit-eating grin at Godzilla. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop this building on you. The claws look very nice, like the little, uh, little ridges there makes it look more uh bug like and then the tail looks good too and the wingspan's really nice and now the articulation on this uh figure the you know the claws rotate all of them including these which is a really cool feature that they put in there the tail very stiff with movement as you can see you can get it to spin around but i don't know if i'd recommend it the wings look like they move, but not really. There's not much movement out of them. But overall, it's not bad. And the paint job is very accurate. Probably the most accurate out of the Bandai Mega Gears figures out there. Well, considering this and another one are pretty much the only ones available. But 
you get the idea. This is a nice figure. Here we have the big G, Godzilla. And as you can see, this is a very green paint job on him. V more so green than the first release of this guy, which I have right here. What are the odds? I've had this thing longer than, uh, you know, Obama's had his presidency. Weird, huh? Anyway, as you can see, they're pretty much the same figure, just slightly different paint jobs. Okay, not very slightly. Uh, let's take a look at this guy, since you've probably seen the other one before so much. The spines are like a translucent uh, orangish white. I guess that's a Christmas color. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give up on it already. Sheesh. Lighten up. Uh, the scales are very textured. Uh, face does look pretty accurate to the movie. Remember in the movie when the teeth were all connected like this? Yeah, so do I! Pretty long tail on this figure, too. Like, it's very long. Innuendo. Yeah. The feet look alright, as, as, as well as the kneecaps. As long, what am I thinking? And on the tail, I don't know if you can read it. Has Bandai made in China. You know, blah 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 blah, Gojila 2000 do. The arms rotate. The legs rotate. Both of them, of course. And the tail rotates. So basically, it's just your average Godzilla articulation for Bandai standards. Even though this figure is pretty stylized, it's not bad, not bad at all. Here's the Griffin from the movie, you know, that ship they use to get around. Or, you know, plane or jet or... I don't know what this is. I, I don't I don't know Toho logic. But yeah, this is a neat little thing, neat little accessory. Here's one of Megaguirus' forms, the Meganulon, I'm pretty sure. You know, that thing that appeared in Rodan and looked like a freaking uh, a bug-eyed thing with claws and... You know, like, you know, like this, right? You're right? No? Okay. And then we have the flying state, and quite honestly, I don't even know what this thing's called. Literally just looks like a dragonfly. But nevertheless, still a cool accessory. <sighs> still a cool accessory. Why do I always gotta mess up? So yeah, let's move on to size comparisons, because we all love those. Here's the uh, Toho Kaiju series, Godzilla 2000 compared to these guys, even though it's the same figure overall, you know. Here they are next to the uh, Bandai Creation King Seesaw, because really, who doesn't have this thing by now? Here they are next to Ultramanu. Why is Ultraman in here? Because apparently I don't do enough Ultraman! And last but not least, next to the wondrous creation known as the Bandai Creation Hedora. Man. How much suckiness can you get out of that? I mean, seriously, I can't even compare the set next to this amazing figure. Look at this. This, this is like garbage compared to this. I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. Love it! So yeah, overall, not a bad set. I actually got this at uh, G-Fest 21. 2014 uh, for like 80 bucks and you know what that's not a bad price for it I think at least it come it's probably one of the cheaper ways to get this mega gears figure because you know on eBay and such he's overpriced because people just love love to be money grubbing bastards but enough about that let's just talk about the set again overall it's a nice little set with decent accessories yeah I'd say it's pretty good. If I had to give it a rating out of five, I'd give it a uh, a three. You know, it's nothing. It's nothing special. It's nothing spectacular, but it's good on its own right. So overall, this set it's not really bad. You know, it's a decent little set. Um, it comes with a lot of accessories and two pretty good figures. Um, is it worth a Christmas present though? Yeah, if you can find it at a decent price. This has been jacked up like so high when it comes to prices it's in the hundreds right now which is crazy but would I recommend it yeah if you can find it for a decent price if not you better just throw it to the birds
Merry Christmas.